Warmth, generosity, and gratitude. These feelings are part of a remarkable event that is happening in Ann Arbor where volunteers are creating something special and for how you can help out. We are talking with Ramona Chapman. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much, Priya, for having us here today. All right, let's just start talking, first of all, about this beautiful event that's also a partnership with Local 4. Uh, absolutely. It is a blanket, a, a comfort blanket event okay. that we are doing, that we are creating uh, donor family blankets for those families that are donor families. That is something that was started by the Michigan Donor Family Council uh, 14 years ago now, oh, wow. back in 2010. And as a result, they wanted to start doing something that would enable uh, a, an act of love and compassion to show to our donor oh, families while they were in the process of uh, the loss of a loved one. And so these blankets are given to our uh, hospital uh, associates, which provide them to the families. Mm. Sometimes they're put on the uh, bed of the loved one, and as a result of that, the mm. families keep these blankets. If they don't have them at that point in time, we're able to give them and share them with them later on. So it's just our way of showing our love uh, for our donor families. You know, w uh, with the Gift of Life Michigan, uh, I think you saw Paula's uh, piece yes. earlier uh, talking about the need for organ donation. Uh, this all ties in together, right? This all ties in. This is National Donate Life Month, and mm. so this month is dedicated to making sure that we're raising the awareness about people signing up to become organ tissue and eye donors and doing things like we're doing with you with the Comfort Blanket Party is an opportunity for everyone to come in and to join with us. Now, I will be volunteering and okay. it's what, April 30th, it's right? It's April 30th, yes. But I, you know, I'm not the best like sewer or like, how am I going to put this blanket together? That's okay. What happens in these particular blankets, we're not going to be knitting or crocheting. Ooh. We're going to be to, we're okay. going to be tying together. These are fleece blankets okay. that will be pre-cut. Uh, we'll just have to come and tie things together. And You're what making I love it easy for that, us. I'm making it easy. This is tying our community to this important mission and that. message of organ and tissue donation. You know, how many people do events like this help? What's the ripple effect that you see? Well, we've been able to give over 1,700 blankets throughout the year. And mm. what we're noticing is that because our organ donation rate is increasing, mm. last year was a record year of 578 organ donors. Really? And we want to make sure that each and every family has a blanket. And so uh, what we know is that we'll come together on April 3rd We'll make uh, hundreds of blankets. I mean, you know, I'll even say thousands. But we're going to be busy. We are going to be busy, be guys. Busy. We want everyone to come out and just have a good time and join us in this message. And please, if you don't have a red heart icon symbol on your driver's license, please sign up uh, to become an organ and tissue donor. But come on out to the blanket party. You know, what I love about this event is how specific it is, that you guys have really thought through what could be a meaningful uh, help for somebody who's going through this process. Yeah, I think that once again, this is such a uh, wonderful way, uh, immediate impact yeah. of a family. Uh, of love and care and concern. And I think that uh, I want to, you know, de definitely salute our Michigan Donor Family yes. uh, Council, our Donate Life Coalition of Michigan that partners with us at Gift of Life Michigan to make sure that we have this opportunity to show love immediately. Well, thank you so much, Ramona, from the Gift of Life Michigan for being in studio with us. And then I can't wait to see you <laughs> on April 30th. You're going to be